G'day. Uh, I'd like to give you, uh, show you some features of our uh, Cockatoo Slide On Camper. Uh, it's made out of fiberglass with an aluminium superstructure. Uh, made out of 6061 T6 aluminium. So it's a high tensile uh, aluminium that's being used. And the fiberglass is made with composite materials to give it extra strength. Now, one of the features we have here is the seal. There's an outer lip plus an inner one with ridges to make sure that no dust enters at all. Now, in this compartment here, we have the uh, 9 kilo gas bottle. There's a generator in there. There's a puncture repair kit, a, a little bit of uh, breakdown gear, a hose to fill up your water tank. When you're looking out here, that's the filler for the 100 litre water tank. That's the filler for the diesel heater. In here, there is also a 14 litre gas Truma hot water system. And over here, we have a shower, hot and, hot, hot and cold running water. We go into this compartment here. And we've got the uh, potty and the clothes bag that you can take out. So you can fill, uh, load all your clothes up at home and just slide it in and it's divided into his and hers, although it's probably more hers than his. If you look underneath, that's where the annex is. When the roof is open, you can close this area off and uh, have an extra room. And the annex is there, the pegs, the ropes, the poles, everything necessary to make things happen. This little outlet over here is uh, for the diesel heater. When you uh, have the annex up, it heats up this whole area and uh, so that when you're having a shower in the winter time it's not cold or if you need to dry clothes, you can do that with that. We come to the back here and we've got a drop down table should you need extra chopping area when you're preparing lunch or dinner. Behind here, we have the legs that are stored. Uh, you undo the clamps, slide the legs in, they're all numbered to make sure that they all coincide. And the, the table holds it in if you need another table for lunch or dinner extra pizza. stop or if you prefer to cook outside there's an outdoor stove and sink two burner stove there is a uh, bayonet connection on the side here and there is water that sink can be removed and clipped onto the side here your AGM battery, 240 volt charger, DC to DC charger, uh, and all the switches in relation to the hot water system, the water pump, the refrigerator, and also to operate the winch for the roof, which we will do shortly. Now there is a manual and a remote switch in here. We'll put it on manual for the moment, just enough to release the hatches. We'll lift it up to this point. That way we can attach the awning while it's at this height. And also, clip the corners over. Like so, I'll just grab the point. And these are 
easier to do it at this time is if it's raining you can get under the cover as soon as you put the attach this awning. shock cord to the roof which tensions up the tropical roof as it opens up. Job's done. Whoopsies. Fell off. Yeah. All right. Then what we do, we flick it to auto or use the manual function. And with the remote control... <laughs> and drop the leg support leg supports for the bed <laughs> adjust it for the height part is done. What we'll do now is go inside and fit the door frame. I'll put this to one side so you can see what's going on. Extend the steps. They have spring-loaded pins that locate that so it doesn't slide out. The legs are adjustable. Then we go inside. And fit the door frame. Yep. Once we've done the door frame, then we can do the annex because that gives you the right height. And that just gets Velcroed into position. Like so. Inside and out. The door can then Swing upwards. And clipped into position. 
Okay, we'll do the um, annex now. Grab the legs or the poles that are located under here. Hammer, couple of pegs. And some rope. I will show you another alternative to it that we have available. What I do is just for my height, I just do it like that. You can't put uh, four guide ropes on, but I'll, this time I'll just put two just to give you an idea because we'll take them off shortly and I'll show you the other alternative to this. If you're camping somewhere where there's no grass and it's only bitumen. Okay. Oh, I better put the other ropes on. It looks untidy. Okay, that part's done. Now we go to the inside. I will remove my boots because otherwise I'll be in a lot of trouble walking through the camper with my boots on. And we go to the next step. Now we go to the bed area. It's got spring-loaded clips that when you extend it, they just fall into place. There we go. That's secured. Undo the shock cords that help you close the camper up and it pulls the canvas in so there's not as much tucking to be done. Here is a storage compartment that you can put your cans and groceries and things in but what we'll do now is bug proof it and what we do is there's velcro here and this bit there that seals it from this end and then we'll seal the outside shortly and the same on this side Okay. 
close that. And that will seal it there and the outside will do shortly. While I'm up here, you can see the here we have sink, hot and cold water because we've got a hot water system. We'll just get rid of this shock cord and that. On this side here, we've got a two burner stove, uh, double power point, USB, and an accessory port there. These are the controls for the diesel heater, your water level gauge, that's the controls for the uh, hot water system, and that's the gas monitor, should there be any gas leaks. With the cupboards, slide out. This particular one has got lithium ion batteries there as an optional extra. And storage down the bottom here. You can see how far out the drawers go. So that's not an issue with access. As we're moving forward, we've got a drawer there for your cutlery, spices or anything else you wish to put in there. Down here is a the fridge and I'll show you how it's accessible at lunchtime when you pull in for a quick stop. While we're at this point here, if you're into doing a lot of cooking and you need more bench space, you pull up the backrest and that acts as an extra bit of bench to do your cooking. Now, in relation to the bed, the bed is fully made up. You just undo the webbing, unzip, Fold it over to there, and there you go. The bed is ready to go. If we look underneath the table, if we look underneath the table, you can see the uh, vent for the heater, and also uh, the foldable solar panels as a location for that, and the uh, fire extinguisher. Now, all the, <coughs> pardon me, compartments that are outside, they're accessible from the inside. So whatever's out there, you can also reach from in here. And the same applies with this one. That's there, the toilet. If you open that door, on the side there, you can slide the toilet out. And there's the bag with the access to the clothing from up here. Now we'll just go outside and I'll show you the, uh, the windows. These are all these ones here. Fly screen. This one here is a solid window you can see the amount of light that comes into the camper once you uh, open up these uh, uh, canvas uh, covers if you you can notice that it's a 2.5 meter ceiling height so that in summer you have a lot more air circulation and these ones here they're fly screened so there's 
apart from plenty of light, lots of ventilation, and these ones here have also got screens to allow light and air through. The door, it's a security screen door with a padlock obviously and uh, you can remove these vinyl covers if you find that it's still too hot and you will get even more air circulation through it. Now if we go outside I will show you the final touch up of the canvas. And that's all you have to do on both sides is just tuck this in like this and that will go up, oh, oh, sorry, going the wrong way. Come over this way and tuck that in. So that's the basic setup of the camper. If you take note on this one here, it has got these points here. They're tied down points for kayaks or if you want to carry additional stuff uh, with you. Now if you give me a minute, I will get something else that's of interest. Ah, back again. And if you really want to have a holiday, you obviously need somewhere to relax. Well, we just happen to have a way of doing that too. So, you attach that there. Unfold it. Ah, another spot here. Make sure your carabiners are well secured. And, ah, look at this. Ah, the holiday's about to begin. Ah, ah look at that. Now, this is the life. Camping. When you're in an environment like this, why wouldn't you relax and have a good time and snooze the day away? As uh, previously mentioned, uh, in regard to your lunch stop, when the camper is fully closed, you crack the roof enough just to open this door, then you have full access to the fridge and all the items inside, and it's very easy then we'll just put this latch here to give you a better idea to open this up to be able to cook whatever you want for lunch and what you can do is because there's so much room underneath and I've got there's a table under there you can utilize a table like that Grab all your goodies from the fridge, stick them here, prepare lunch, or use the outside table. Ease of access, you don't have to go open the camper up fully uh, to get all your things. As I mentioned earlier, there is another option to this and pegging down. Should you be camping in a spot where there's no grass and it's an overnight stop for a couple of days, and all you've got is bitumen, well, there is a solution for that. What you do is, you insert this spreader bar, there, Put the spreader bar in, spread it out, tighten it up, attach the Velcro to it, and that'll keep it from flapping and driving you mad. Rope. 
attach it to the end. You get your pole that it holds it out. It just clips into the side of the camper and into the pole. We do the same on this side. Then we extend it out. There. And there. And then with these clips, we just attach it the side of the chassis. And now you have a freestanding awning. Oops. Sorry about that. Try again. There we go, spring loaded and the job's done. Well, we're going to have a shower tonight, so the best thing is to put up the annex for privacy. We've got campers all around us, we don't want to scare them off. So, underneath, that's all our canvas for the annex. This part is the draft skirt. We'll put that on first. Things that it came out first. Goes there. There's a little cutout here so that while you're having a shower, if you want excess towels or soap or anything like that, you can. They're good quality stainless steel pressed up, so they're a little bit firm. Next, all right. Press stud on the front. That secures it. And it's velcroed. There we go. That's all velcroed there. And this is velcroed to the draft skirt. One down. Let's see what's in the package next. Okay, that's the big one. So this one as well. Into the sail rail. It's a bit stiff. Like that. This gets zippered up. Right. 
wrong end. It still gets zippered up, but I started the wrong end. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit tight. It's all new zippers. It's hardly been used. There we go. That's closed off there. All we got is one more panel. That goes in the back. the grass out, you press that the rest. Now I'll leave this open so you can, I'll turn the light on inside so that way you can see what it looks like with the light on. Here we go, there's, then you come inside here and there's an LED strip that illuminates the area. This is where the gas heater comes in handy with the vent to heat up this whole area. And as you can see, you've got access to your clothes if you want to change. Uh, and if you want to put soap and things like that over there, you can. Shower out and away you go. So that's it's as simple as that. Now with this, you can also, if you come outside, camera lady, this, you pick it down and you can unzip this if you want to use it during the day and the flies or the mozzies are driving you crazy. You can Hold this up. Clip it on. I've only just done it roughly just to give you the gist of how this works. There's a clip standard hole there. And here. So you can escape from the flies and the mosquitoes at night or during the day through here. Now if you come round to the front, there is a front and a rear access door that is also fly screen. Just like that. And the same system. You just put your little strap through there. That. Well, yep. oh. oh, here we go. I'm half blind, don't mind me. There we go. And that goes through there. And you can unzip this. And you got the entry in and out. There you go. If you need shade, that part that I just clipped up, you can have some pet holes and you can dig it out here to get a little bit of extra shade if necessary. So it is a, a multifunctional bit of annex.
Ah, back again. Well, uh, this is it set up. And real realistically, if you are putting it together, it doesn't take as long as this video. It only takes you 15 minutes. Uh, this camper has made over 30,000 uh, kilometers on some of Australia's roughest roads, Gibb River Road, the Cape, and many others. And it has survived really well. We were away for nearly eight months and in one stint. Functioned beautifully, open, closed, no problems at all. We're quite confident that this camper will go wherever your four-wheel drive can go. If your four-wheel drive can't go there, the camper can't go either. So, to us, it's a very good unit. It's spacious inside for two people to travel in. It is not a problem. Very easy to set up very easy to close, your own privacy in showering if you need to, or if you're out in the whoop whoop, you can shower without the uh, annex, and much more exciting. So there you go folks, there it is, uh, high off the ground, you're nowhere near where those uh, crocs are going to eat you, uh, and you're very safe up there. Over and out.